Hello, and welcome to Omron's Quick Tip video series. I'm Doug Brown, and today I'll be showing you how to install USB drivers for the CP1 PLC. The basic hardware configuration is a computer running CX Programmer, a USB cable, and a CP1 PLC. Today I happen to be using a CP1L-L14DR-A. First, I'll show you what happens when we try to connect to the PLC without installing USB drivers first. I'll go to PLC, Auto Online, Direct Online, select a USB connection, and click Connect. We very quickly get a failed to connect to the PLC message. What we need to do is go to the Windows Device Manager. I'll hit the Windows key, type Device Manager, and click Enter. This is a list of all the physical devices on my computer, and we can see under the Other Devices section, with an exclamation mark beside it, meaning that the drivers are not properly installed, the Omron PLC. To install the drivers, I right-click, select Update Driver Software, select Browse My Computer for Driver Software, point it to C colon, Program Files x86, Omron, Drivers, USB. If I was running on a 32-bit platform instead of 64-bit, the x86 would not be there. I want to check the Include Subfolders and click Next. Windows finds the appropriate driver, asks us for permission to install, and goes ahead and installs the driver. Sometimes this takes a few seconds. We can see now that the device was successfully installed. I'll click close. Now in Device Manager, I can see that we have an Omron SysMac PLC device under the USB controllers section. And there are no unknown devices anymore, which is good. Now I'll go back to CX Programmer and I'll repeat the process. PLC, Auto Online, Direct Online, USB Connection, and I'll click Connect. This time it takes a little bit longer, and CX Programmer detects the CP1L, uploads the program, and I am online. And that's how you install USB drivers for the CP1 PLC. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more Omron Quick Tip videos.